This program is made possible by the support of Delta Dental, Quick Trip, Marshfield Clinic Health System, Wisconsin Counties Association, Wisconsin Hospital Association. Watch Wisconsin Eye on Spectrum Channels 995 and 363 and at wisi.org. Good morning. Thank you for joining us uh, this morning. I'm proud to be joined by several of my Senate colleagues uh, to announce a proposed plan to spend $133.6 million of funding to our counties and towns to fix local roads. For the past several years, our constituents have been telling us with great passion that they want us to fix the roads. While we have made some progress, we know that we have more to do. The plan that we are announcing today will dedicate meaningful one-time funding to make significant improvements in our local roads. We want to help our local leaders to fix the roads right now. This plan sends $1 million to each of our 72 counties in the state and provides $1,000 for every mile of town road. With 61,600 town miles in the state, this brings our total proposal to $133.6 million. We are proposing to use the surplus funds that we have generated over the last eight years as a result of the positive reforms we have made. We want to use this one-time money to make a difference in the one thing that all of our constituents have told us they want, to fix our roads. We are asking counties and towns to identify maintenance and construction projects on roads and bridges to apply these funds. They cannot use these funds to buy vehicles, plow snow, or build buildings. These funds are for roads, pure and simple. We have the money, we hear our constituents, and we are taking action. I would now like to introduce to you Senator Devin Lemmy, who is also one of the uh, co-authors on this proposal. Well, good morning, everybody. This is a great day to be here today. Um, over the reforms that we've made over the last eight years with this group of legislators, we've done a lot of responsible budgeting, held the line on taxes, and uh, made Wisconsin a place where businesses want to come and grow. Because of that, our unemployment rate is down, and we have a surplus, a $700 million surplus. Um, a couple months ago, we tried to give some of that back to the taxpayers. Um, unfortunately, that was vetoed. Hopefully, we can take care of that in the budget going forward. But with this surplus, I think it's important to give it back to the local levels of government to fix the roads. You know, some of us just came off of uh, six months of a uh, long campaign. Uh, we're out in our local communities. We're the front line talking to our neighbors, our community leaders. And I think we all heard a consistent message, and we've been hearing a consistent message is, you know, all we need is funds to take care of our local roads. So this goes a great step. Uh, before I was elected here in the state of Wisconsin, I was a county board supervisor. I know the challenges that local governments face, uh, especially on the township level. They may have only a couple of employees. And um, so using this one-time injection, our one-time surplus to give back to our local taxpayers, I think is a huge bonus and is something that all of Wisconsin could get behind. Uh, with that, I will uh, turn it over to Senator Tom Tiffany. Good morning, everybody. Uh, first of all, I want to I want to thank Senator Mark Lyon and Senator Petrusky, um, in particular, for their leadership on this issue. This is an excellent proposal that's come before us, and uh, to me, this is all about the first mile. Um, we have needs throughout the state of Wisconsin, but. Uh, and we've pumped a tremendous amount of money into mega projects here in Wisconsin. And they're very important. It's very important that we completed them and that we do complete them. Um, but when you see that um, semi that's carrying cheese, milk, whatever, that goes through a major intersection here in Wisconsin, that had to start at a farmer's front gate. And he probably, that milk truck that came out of that farmer's yard probably went onto a town road or a county road came on the town road, it was going to hit a county road eventually. You go see the loggers around the state of Wisconsin, it's not just northern Wisconsin. Um, they start out in the woods somewhere, and they're probably going on a town road for that first mile 
that they're going to bring that raw material to a processing facility. You talk about tourism. You go to hundreds of tourism destinations across the state of Wisconsin here, you're probably on a back road somewhere where you end up at a restaurant, a resort, or like I used to have, an excursion boat. You're probably on a town road that first mile after you leave that facility. So it's important that, um, that we do put an investment into that first mile, and this is a real good step with one-time money to be able to help some of those local municipalities to be able to catch up here as we go forward um, with the transportation debate. So with that, I want to introduce the chair of the Transportation Committee, Senator Petrusky. Thank you, Tom. Morning, everyone. Morning. Morning. First of all, I would like to thank Senator Mark Lein for all of his work on this, for putting this initiative together and to pushing it forward. <laughs> this truly will make a difference in the roadways across our state. There are many local governments that will really benefit from this. If you understand transportation, I realize there's a lot of people that talk about it, but the realities are that every roadway has a maintenance schedule. And if you keep up with that maintenance schedule, you can make a road last twice as long as it normally would. There is a huge need out there for roadways where local governments are behind. This will give them the opportunity to get caught up. I think this is really important, and it will truly make a difference across our state. I travel, I live in the North Woods, and of course I travel a lot of the rural roads. And uh, just by that, you can see where roads are deteriorating and falling apart. This will be an influx of cash and will really allow them to get caught up on the maintenance and to make our roadways last longer. With that, thank you. Are you going to take questions? Yep. Hey, will this money go towards GTAs or LRAP then? It will be a direct uh, payment to our counties and to the townships. It will not go through uh, GTA. Is so it contingent on project plans being submitted? Correct. <clears throat> so a million dollars to all 72 counties? Correct. Uh, I, I mean, given the, the extreme differences in populations and, and roadways, I mean, is, is that equitable that Milwaukee County gets the same amount as Sawyer County? When I look at uh, some of my rural counties, with the current GTA, it's a reimbursement-based formula. And they don't have the capacity to, to tax and spend money on transportation like some of our urban uh, co communities. So when we put money into GTA, uh, they don't get a pro rata percentage of so they've been falling behind for, for a long time And I believe this is a way to catch for them to catch up and, and level uh, the, the playing field a bit um, And uh, as I view this this is a, a way for them our counties and our township to work on that backlog of projects that have been out there that uh, You know, they, they know where to spend the money. They've got, they've got their, their bridges and roads that they believe need to be addressed If there are 19 members of your caucus or 10 of you guys here, is this the position of the caucus or is it the Senate this is the position of the people that are here. I think one thing that's really important is this also focuses on our bridges. Is the assembly on board? Um, this will be part of the conversation we have with the assembly. So they're not on board? I don't know at this point. Well, of the 10, it's no more than six you guys are on finance. So will you lose people on negotiating? You guys do with them on a transportation package for tomorrow's vote? We'll be, tomorrow we'll be voting on transportation. There'll be a lot of conversations between now and when we vote tomorrow. Where is the majority leader on this proposal? You'd have to ask him. Uh, what, what, what about money for cities or villages? This is, this is counties and towns. Are you proposing anything for the larger communities? Well, I think that conversation will take place as we talk uh, about the, uh, the, bu the transportation budget as a whole. The Senate Majority Leader said the other day that uh, this press conference is on this proposal at this point, and I guess I'd like to limit the questions to this topic. Do you want to have uh, the governor's proposed six hundred eight million dollars in new revenue? Would you like to find some source of revenue that, it, and, and do you want to get a number that high? Again, you know, I, I think that uh, for the purpose of this press conference, I want to keep the conversation on, on this proposal here. Um, as far as the new revenue, 
proposals. That's all going to be uh, discussed here over the next um, 24 hours or better. And, and I, was, I was just going to say this proposal revolves around our surplus. I mean, it's, it doesn't deal with ongoing funding. We have a surplus. It's important to give it back to our local <laughs> communities and make sure they can use it to the best of their ability to make some huge investments and catch up on road projects. I'm guessing there are a lot of assembly Republicans that will really like this plan. You had a big delay um, because of transportation in the last budget. What's to say that you won't hit a similar uh, obstacle this time around? Given that uh, you, don't, you don't have your full caucus in this house on board with this, we don't know where the assembly is, and you don't have a broader deal on this issue, or even a proposal at this point. Can I take, can I take a swing at that? Um, so, I mean, it's true of the various issue areas that we deal with in the budget. I mean, we go in with our positions and we negotiate them and then we come out and um, have a vote on the package that's before us. I mean, we've been doing that through this budget. We've been doing it through it, uh, doing it the same way in previous budgets. That's what's going to happen here. We're going to sit down and we're going to negotiate an agreement. And uh, we're very hopeful that this is going to be part of that agreement, that we take some of this one-time money, some of the surplus, and we dedicate it to the first mile here in Wisconsin. So we've got a, a press release and a, a fiscal bureau memo uh, on this that uh, will be available uh, very shortly. In fact, we've got it here right now if you'd like. It'll also be released to you uh, electro electronically at about now, 945. So anyway, thank you.